Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is the first uh, video from a series in which we will uh, be looking at a couple of examples from uh, a VHDL book, uh, which is this one. I mean, you may know of it already, uh, written by Yipong Chu. Uh, so we'll look at a couple of uh, um, examples from this uh, book and uh, discuss them and then prototype them on an uh, actual APG board, uh, more specifically uh, this one. This is uh, the D1 SOC FPGA board that has a uh, Cyclo uh, 5 and it is made by uh, Jurassic, a uh, super cool FPGA board. Alright, so the first example that we are going to uh, look at is uh, the hexadecimal digit to 7 segment LED decoder from, from section 3.7.1, a very simple uh, design entity that uh, uh, takes a, uh, an input hex uh, on four bits that, that represent uh, the binary representation of that hexadecimal uh, digit and converts that to a number of uh, bits, uh, eight, but uh, seven of them are uh, directly used. And the eighth one uh, is, is the decimal point over here. So uh, those seven are used to control co accordingly uh, the individual uh, LEDs of this uh, seven segment display to uh, light up correctly to, to, to indicate that, that particular uh, digit. Uh, the actual uh, testing uh, circuit of, of this is um, here. Uh, it is a very simple 8-bit uh, increment circuit uh, whose uh, VHDL is in this listing 3.13 and the um, block diagram shown uh, over here. Uh, so it is, uh, essentially takes uh, uh, eight, 8 bits of, uh, that will input through uh, uh, 8 slide switches on, on the board, uh, add 1 to it, and um, have the output uh, in hexadecimal uh, displayed, uh, as well as the input, uh, through uh, the help of a uh, MUX here in the original design to control four in the, in, in individual 7 segment uh, uh, displays. Um, in our implementation, we are going to actually get rid of this because um, the board has uh, enough pins that were directly connected to individual 770 LED displays and, and we don't uh, uh, need this MOX and, and the clock signal um, anymore. The um, uh, VHDL um, uh, code uh, you can find on the companion website of the textbook uh, shown over here. I have already done that and added those two uh, required files uh, to a new project that I have created over here. Uh, this is the hex to seven segment uh, design entity that is instantiated four times in the actual testing circuit that, that you see uh, over here. Uh, four instances of, of the same uh, design entity. Um, the uh, entity declaration uh, was uh, changed uh, to add uh, four here um, outputs uh, each uh, to control um, an individual seven segment uh, display. Uh, the incrementer uh, that just adds one to what we input uh, to the switches uh, are, uh, is, is still uh, here. So the only thing that, that uh, I had to do was to also take care of the pin assignments. So. Uh, the inputs um, that will uh, provide to the slide switches need to be correctly assigned to the right pins of this particular FPGA on the D1 SOC board, as well as the outputs. Uh, the output pins uh, uh, need to be uh, associated to this pin assignment process to, to the outputs uh, hex uh, 0 to hex 3, so, so that uh, the actual design on the FPGA controls correctly uh, the uh, 77 displays on, on the board and the input uh, is, is uh, taken uh, correctly uh, from the switches. So uh, I have uh, created the project, uh, did the synthesis, placement and routing, generated the uh, programming file, and I have already uh, programmed the FPGA board to the um, uh, programmer uh, that, that you see uh, over here. So what's left for me to show you now is how uh, this actually works on the actual FPGA board. Um, 
you see here uh, the first eight slide switches uh, represented the input we use those to input uh, two uh, hexadecimal digits uh, the first hexadecimal digit uh, is input using the first sl four slide switches the second one using the next uh, four uh, the first four uh, represent uh, the, the, um, the hexadecimal digits shown on the first seven cement uh, display uh, over there so, uh, so and, and, and um, this, the, the next one um, um, on the next four slide switches so that, that is the input the next two seven segment uh, displays um, uh, show the output and in this case um, the input is, is zero zero the output incremental is of course zero one if I for instance set the input to three and the output to be four so if I uh, set uh, for example the input uh, to zero f uh, f is uh, all four bits one uh, 0f plus 1 is in hexadecimal uh, 1 to 0. So as you can see, uh, this works uh, correctly.